My goal in today's video is to make the quickest, easiest drawer box assembly video on YouTube. The only two tools you'll basically need are a Craig jig as well as a table saw. Materials you'll need are three quarter inch plywood and a thin piece of plywood. I'm using quarter inch. I'm making this to replace a kitchen drawer. Maybe you need to too, so I just wanna make a really quick video how to do it, no BS. Let's jump into it. Your first step is gonna to be to determine the size of your drawer box. Mine's gonna be 20 inches long. The width is also gonna be 20 inches, four inches deep. Picture this, your drawer front, the length's easy. I'm gonna rip down this sheet of plywood to four inches, and then I'm gonna cut two 20 inch lengths. Okay, the lengths are all set. Now it's time to cut the widths. Because the widths are gonna fit in between the lengths, you gotta account for the thickness of this. So because my box is gonna be 20 inches wide as well, I need to subtract three quarters and three quarters, which is an inch and a half. So I'm gonna make them 18 and a half inches. All right, now at this point, I just like to label these. So this is gonna be your front. Make sure on your front, your defect side is facing forward because your drawer front's gonna cover that anyway. Here's your back. Make sure your good side's facing in because you're never gonna see the back. Sides are identical, it doesn't really matter, but what I like to do, usually there's a slight warp. This is warping this way. So I like to make the warp go in like that. So that way when you put your bottom panel in, it's compressed more. All right, so with them labeled, what we're gonna do now, cut the dados for the bottom. Okay, so to cut the dados, I like to raise my blade to half the thickness of the material. I'm using three quarter inch. This has gotta be to three eighths. All right, so with both my side pieces, I marked out where I wanna put the dado on which side. I have my fence set to three and five eighths. That's for a four inch deep drawer. When I go to make this dado, that will leave me about a quarter inch of material down here for the uh, drawer bottom to set on. I'm also gonna do the same thing on the front piece and leave your back alone for now. Okay, so now after you've made your first cut, you're gonna begin creeping your fence this way a little bit until that dado matches the material, until it matches it snug. So I'm gonna keep knocking it over about a 16th until it matches. Okay, now that I know all that fits, I'm gonna run these last two side pieces over it. Okay, so now my two side pieces, as well as my front piece, fit that perfectly. Now, you do not touch the fence. Leave it where it's at. Raise up your saw blade. Then I'm gonna get my back piece. Here's your back piece, and you're gonna wanna cut that right off. Okay, so at this point, your two sides, you're gonna set them aside. So here's your back piece. Here's your front piece. On your front piece, you're gonna wanna drill pocket holes on the front. That's because the drawer front will cover them. On your back piece, you're gonna wanna drill them on the back so there's nothing showing on the inside of the drawer. All right, now it's time to put the drawer box together, which is pretty easy. Glue and screw it. Just make sure your dados are all lined up. Another tip is build it upside down so then your back piece can sit flush with the top of the drawer box. So then you can line up your dado so it's flush the back of it. And then you just Glue and screw it with pocket holes. Okay, now it's time to cut your bottom panel. To do this, remember we had our saw blade set to 3 eighths of an inch. So you got 3 eighths over here, 3 eighths over here. So that's gonna be 3 quarters of an inch. So you measure between here and here, 18 and a half. And you're gonna wanna add 3 quarters to that, which would be 19 and a quarter. And then I usually just like to take away an eighth just so it's a sure fit and it's definitely gonna fit. So that's gonna be 19 and an eighth by, this is your front and your back, so now you go straight up to your front, go flush with the back, which is 19 and a half, and then add three eighths because of this groove. 19 and seven eighths, and then I'll take away an eighth, so it'll be 19 and three quarters. And another thing is, I like to have the grain run this way, the long way of the drawer box. It just makes it look a lot better. Okay, so now with this cut, I like to ease over the corners just with sandpaper, just makes it slide into the dado a lot easier. I just use this little palm sander. It just takes normal sanding discs. I love this thing, I'll link it below. It's like six bucks and it's a lifesaver. Okay, with the drawer box upside down, you want your good side facing down. You want obviously the inside to look good. Your defects are gonna be at the bottom. Who cares what it looks like? Corner sand it over, it should slide right in. It's gonna be tight, you just wanna get it to go straight as possible and it should line up perfect with the back then all you're gonna do pop a couple screws in here best part about this is is if your bottom gets wet or damaged you can replace it at any time because it's just slipped in 
through those dados and then screw it in the back. Last, drawer front goes on the front, screw it in like that and that, install your drawer slides, install it in place, done deal. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, I got another one queued up for you right here. And also subscribe for more videos, because I'm always making more. Thanks for watching.